This lesson will show how to use Desmos.com to determine the SON distribution probabilities as well as determine the standard deviation. According to an email management company, an email user gets on average 228 emails per day. Let the random variable x equal the number of emails an email user receives per hour. The discrete random variable x takes on the values 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, which represents, again, the number of emails received per hour. The random variable x has a Poisson distribution, however the mean, often represented by mu or lambda, is not equal to 228, because this is the number of emails per day. We're concerned about the time interval of hours. So the mean is going to be 228 divided by the number of hours in one day, which is 24, which gives us 9.5 for the mean, again represented by mu or lambda. Number one, what is the probability that an email user receives exactly eight emails per hour? This would be the probability that x is equal to eight. Number two, what is the probability that an email user receives at most 10 emails per hour? At most 10 means less than or equal to 10. Number two, we want the probability that x is less than or equal to 10. Number three, what is the probability that an email user receives more than seven emails per hour? This would be the probability that x is greater than seven. And because x only takes on the values of whole numbers, this would be the same as the probability that x is greater than or equal to eight. And now let's go to desmos.com, graph the Poisson distribution, and then determine these three probabilities. And then we'll finish by determining the standard deviation. So we first go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. To graph the Poisson distribution, let's first click show keypad in the lower left hand corner, click functions, click the distribution tab, click Poisson distribution. Notice how we're told to enter the mean, which is 9.5, enter. Now we need to adjust the window by clicking on the zoom fit button, which is this magnifying glass here on the left. And now we have a beautiful graph of the Poisson distribution. The first probability we want is the probability x is equal to eight. If we click on particular points on the graph, the ordered pairs will give us the probability for a particular value of x. Notice how if we click on this point here, the ordered pair is eight comma 0.12316 which means the probability x equals eight is approximately 0.12316 or to four decimal places 0.1232. Let's go ahead and record this. And now let's find the probability x is less than or equal to 10. To do this, we click on the find cumulative probability and notice below we can enter the min and max values for x because we want probability x is less than or equal to 10. The minimum x value is zero. The maximum x value is 10. Let's close the keypad. Notice how the probability shows below. It's also shaded on the graph. So the probability x is less than or equal to 10 is approximately 0 0.6453. Next, you want to find the probability that x is greater than seven, which is the same as the probability that x is greater than or equal to eight, and we will use the probability that x is greater than or equal to eight. So going back to the graph, we simply change the minimum x value to eight, and then to enter a positive infinity for the maximum, we can clear the 10, and then just tab out of this cell, and the infinity will appear. Another option is to just go ahead and type in infinity, and the infinity symbol appears. If we close the show keypad, notice how we can see the graph is shaded to the right of eight, including eight, which gives us the probability that x is greater than or equal to eight, which is approximately 0 0.7313. And for the last example, we're asked to find the standard deviation, which is equal to the square root of the mean. So by hand, we'd have the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 9.5 Let's also show how to find this using Desmos. Of course, we can go to cell two and type in the square root of 9.5, which 
which gives us approximately 3.0822, or we can click functions, click stats, click standard deviation, click functions, click distributions, click Poisson distribution, enter the mean of 9.5, enter, and we do get the same result, approximately 3.0822. So using Desmos.com is a great way to find Poisson distribution probabilities because you also get to see the graph that represents the corresponding probability. Thank you for watching.